Well, that's a long chapter to sum up, but I'm going to give it a try. So over the course of this chapter, we started by understanding Windows applications and we looked at three topics, properties, events and functions. Properties read or assign a value. Events react to something happening or functions let you trigger something new to happen. We looked at when developing automations, two of the key learnings were variables and functions. And we looked quite often at the use of variables or boxes that you can store information in and functions, some way that you can write your automations into logical structures so that you can, they're easy to maintain and easy to understand. We looked at the physical objects layer and how selectors can be used to identify all of the components, whether they're Windows applications or browser based applications, so that they provide as robust as possible a solution for automation that allows the underlying applications to change. And we spent a little bit of time looking at logical entities, a way to separate the physical layer from the business layer. Logical entities are a very powerful tool, but are much more technical, and so will depend very much on your technical appetite as to which approach you want to take. We looked at the presentation layer and differences for building your own new presentation layer, or to use other tools such as Excel to drive inputs into your robotic process automation. We looked at the different approaches to business logic, and you can see on the screen here three very visually different approaches to demonstrating the business logic. And we looked at the three products, Win Automation, Nice and UiPath, to compare and to contrast some of those differences. Let's pause for just a second and review our goals for the course. So far, we've looked at lean and automation, understood why you need lean and automation, who are the main automation providers, and we've seen in this chapter more detail about how to select the right one for you. We've seen the six skills needed for RPA success and preparing and executing a pilot. We've talked about engaging stakeholders and communicating on the topic of automation. And we've looked in detail at understanding customer value waste elimination and continuous improvement, all of the key lean principles. And today we've looked at the automation concepts right from the very beginning. That leaves us to start to move beyond the pilot to understand how lean and RPA can take us up and scale up our program. And then how do we sustain our automation program for long term success? That's it from me for this chapter. I hope you found it useful. I'd be interested to hear your feedback as always, so please drop me a line at my email address rob.king at wizard.co.uk or provide some feedback on the forums at the RPA Academy. Thank you for listening.